Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren, Kirsten Gillibrand, and Bernie Sanders. What do all of these senators have in common? They all want to abolish ICE. Hello everyone, I'm Ferlin Webster Jr. with MRC-TV. With the migrant caravan getting closer and closer to the U.S. border each day, there have been a lot of questions about how we're going to handle them at their arrival. Even in this situation, the left has not backed down from their desire to abolish ICE. For those of you who don't remember or know what ICE actually does, watch this. What are the other things that ICE does that if somebody went ahead like the congressman with the abolish ICE, what else would you be getting rid of? We do drug trafficking investigations, gun trafficking investigations, terrorism investig investigation. We do investigations about smuggling technology to countries not supposed to have it, like weapons technology that can hurt our warfighters. We do very significant uh, Homeland Security investigations. They're forgetting about all that work. So today, we're going to take a look and remember what these politicians had to say about putting an end to this government agency. Let's start with Senator Kamala Harris. In an interview with MSNBC, she made it pretty clear that we should be starting over when it comes to dealing with ICE. A lot of the signs at the rally you just held were people standing there saying, abolish ICE. Yeah. Is that a position that you agree with? Listen, I think there's no question that we've got to critically re-examine ICE and its role and the way that it is being administered and the work it is doing, and we need to probably think about starting from scratch. Next, we have Senator Elizabeth Warren. In a campaign video, she tugged at the heartstrings of her voter base by reminding them of the separation of families at the border. She, like Harris, called for a complete renovation of this government agency. President's deeply immoral actions have made it obvious we need to rebuild our immigration system from top to bottom, starting by replacing ICE. Now, because of their statements, the White House didn't miss the opportunity to take to Twitter and call out both Warren and Harris, asking them why they were supporters of the animals of MS-13 and claiming they didn't have the right understanding of ICE's function. Both of them even received a courtesy web link in the tweet so they could find out what ICE really does. I wonder if they clicked that link. Senators Kirsten Gillibrand and Bernie Sanders are part of this line of thinking as well. Gillibrand told CNN's Chris Cuomo that the agency needed to be reimagined. I don't think ICE today is working as intended. Well, you think I you believe, should get rid of the agency? I believe that it has become a deportation force. Um, and I think you should separate the criminal justice from the immigration issues. And I think you should reimagine ICE under a new agency with a very different mission and take those two missions out. And so we believe that we should protect families that need our help, and that is not what ICE is doing today, and that's why I believe you should get rid of it, start over, reimagine it, and build something that actually works. In an interview with Jake Tapper, Bernie Sanders was asked if he agreed that ICE should be abolished. His answer... I think what we need is to create policies which deal with immigration in a rational way. And a rational way is not locking children up in detention centers or separating them from their mothers. What we need is Trump to sit down with members of Congress and work on a rational program which deals with a serious issue. Basically, he sidestepped the question and avoided giving a yes or no. But I think we can get the right idea of what he thinks about this considering what he tweeted back in July. Now, it is time to do what Americans overwhelmingly want. Abolish the cruel, dysfunctional immigration system we have today and pass comprehensive immigration reform. <laughs> now, I'm not the best voice impersonator, but you get the point. Now we know what he thinks. As of yet, none of these senators have come up with a good alternative to ICE, and who knows if we can actually expect them to. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. For MRC-TV, I'm Ferlin Webster Jr.